Casey. Mutton Boston. Ooh. Oh. That's going to be... Stick around, folks. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> that's going to get fun. It's also going to get a lot hotter again today. So I know you're probably sick of hearing about the heat, but uh, it is something to definitely be mindful of. We're, we're going to have temperatures even hotter than yesterday. And as the stretch keeps going longer and longer, our systems do get taxed, uh, not just our AC systems, but our bodies too. So just keep checking in on the little ones, especially. Make sure they're drinking lots of water. Uh, it's 104 today, and or yesterday, I should say, was 104. That was a new record for us. It tied the record set back in 2013. Today, Thursday, we're going for 105. That's going to be a record for us. We're going for 105 again tomorrow. That's going to be a record for us. We're going for 106 Saturday. The record Saturday is 107. That's our all-time record high, so we've never recorded anything higher than 107. And we're going to be in that territory on Saturday. So we have what will be four days in a row of temperatures at 104 or higher. And again, our temperatures just keep going up. So even hotter today, we're going to have our longest stretch of temperatures at 104 104 or higher ever recorded. We've done that for three days in a row, and that happened back in 2022, and that's only happened a couple of times. We're going to have four solid days of over 104, so really hot temperatures, and we might even be looking at five days in a row because Sunday is close too at 102. Only a slight cool down ahead next week. Temperatures back off a little bit, but we're back to the upper 90s for highs early next week. That's still well above average for this time of the year and not much of a break, not the cold front that would be so nice to come through right now. This is your hourly forecast for today, 77 at 7 a.m. At 9 a.m., we're at 86 at noon. We're already close to 100. We're at 98. We're at 100 by 2, 103 by 4, and at 7, we're still at 102 at 10 o'clock tonight. We're still in the 90s, so it's going to be a really warm one and again our high up to 105 today if you're trying to beat the heat and you get up in elevations so you're going hiking up in the cottonwoods temperatures in the morning are in the upper 50s and then we're in the upper 70s by noon but we're still even getting into the mid 80s at places like alta up at near brighton and solitude so it is still quite warm even in the higher elevations high pressure ridges dominating our weather right now so far it's keeping most of the wildfire uh, smoke down to the south so our air quality is not bad we have green and moderate some areas improved from yesterday Layton and sugar house park looking better park city going down a bit at 56 and Logan still in the high 50s with moderate air quality there and that is due to just a little bit of that wildfire smoke that's come in. Uh, as this high pressure ridge heads east it will let more in on Saturday so it is going to get smokier this weekend especially Saturday night into Sunday. Sunday afternoon a slight chance for some storms in our mountains. This is what we're hoping will cool us off by a couple of degrees on Sunday. High pressure ridge does start to head east and flatten a little bit on Monday and we'll have the chance for some storms Monday afternoon in our mountains as well. So so that should cool us off further to the high 90s. Same thing Tuesday. And then we get to Wednesday and that high pressure ridge looks to just build back in again. And so we could be talking extreme heat returning with triple digits again in the forecast later next week. Central Utah 101 in Nephi and in Richfield Green River at 107. Same thing for Moab Beaver at 100 today. And 115 in St. George Canab at 105. Your seven-day forecast showing record highs tomorrow. 113 in St. George. But we're going down. 110 Saturday, still dangerous, and then not quite as bad Sunday through next week, 105 to 106. Wasatch Front, 105 for most areas, 103 in Provo and Park City in the mid-90s. Evanston even topping out in the mid-90s, and at Heber, we're at 100 degrees today, Windover at 106, and your seven-day forecast showing temperatures again just continue to climb so high through the